Hi, this is Amy Lewis with Solid Fire, and I'm here with Troy. Troy, can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is the Lorax, and I speak for the operators. <laughs> okay. My wide nose is Troy. <laughs> and what do you do, Troy? I'm a uh, senior manager. I oversee technical marketing engineers here at NetApp. Okay, so uh, it sounds like we've got a war brewing here. So I've got a couple questions for you. First, yeah. how has OpenStack changed over the years? And second, you've got to explain a little bit. Does this Are we drawing a line between dev and ops? Yeah, so um, let me deal with the first one because that's easier. So uh, I've been at OpenStack for probably four years now, and one of the things that I've been seeing is the developer focus in the early days is really starting to shift into, shift into the operator focus. This is the first year that they've had an operator track, which I think is very impressive. And um, I'll talk about that in a second. So, and then, uh, am I drawing a line? Yes, I am, but that doesn't mean there has to be war. That just means there has to be understanding between development and operators. All right, so talk to me about this. Uh, there's a, an operator track. What, what do you see as the next, what is the opportunity there? Yeah, so um, one of the opportunities is, is really for OpenStack to move from, I'm going to talk to you, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> so uh, it's to OpenStack to move to more of an operator focus. So one of the things I saw on the uh, operator track was um, how to survive a horror story. Um, hey, can you tell me about backups? You know, things that developers, are, developers aren't really excited about. So the opportunity is really to start moving OpenStack into being more user-friendly from an operating standpoint. Upgrades, what do we do every six months? Developers are all excited about what they're creating every six months. And operators are like, oh no, every six months we have to you know, upgrade and is this gonna be a disaster? And that's, that's something that uh, is now starting to be acknowledged. No, it makes sense. So do you think that the developers have gotten all the love? They're the popular kids, so you've got to speak for the operators? Look, developers at OpenStack are the popular kids. You guys have arrived at the lunch table, and that's the way it is. Now, the operators are coming on saying, okay, look, we, must, we were all football players you know, back in high school, but now we got to get the job done with your brilliance. So, yeah, they are the popular kids. <laughs> I mean, I'm just acknowledging that. Yeah. So what do you think is next? What do you predict uh, for the future? Where do you see this going? Well, wow, that's a good question. So uh, one of the things I see is that uh, uh, in the early days, there were some players that really tried to go with the appliance model, right? That said, you know, let's just make it super easy, easy to consume. And they didn't survive because I think it was a little early. So one of the things I see is that there's going to be more people trying to create uh, uh, appliances, right, that make it super easy from an operation standpoint. You can also see that with a hosted uh, OpenStack. You're seeing that play, and it's all playing towards make it easy, right? Don't, don't, I don't want to have to do it all myself because there really there are the, the, the people that love to tweak the nerd knobs, and there's the, the camp that says, yeah. I just want it to work, right? I want the value out of it, but I don't want to be the guy that's doing all the tweaking. And that's really where the appliance model uh, can come in and really help. Very cool. Well, thank you, Troy, for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. That was fun. <laughs> and we'll see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.